climate change, certainly in the conversation here in the city of Austin. So joining me today is Zach Bomber, the climate program manager with the city of Austin's Office of Sustainability. Zach, kind of catch us up, you know, when it comes to the highlights and, and the work of informing the public and the community about climate change, what were some of the things done in 2021 and what are some of the things ahead in 2022? So in September of 2021, uh, after my me and my staff worked for you know, over a year with community members to collaborate and co-create um, a plan for our whole community to to reduce emissions. City Council adopted the new uh, a new community wide goal and has now set us on a new path forward of trying to achieve net zero community wide emissions by 2040. It's a very bold and aggressive target, um, but it aligns with what scientists say we need to be doing to avoid the worst of climate change. What are some of those things, you know, that like, for example, we can do or that you guys are hoping to do within the next 18 years to meet that goal? For the next five years, the focus on this plan is in five different areas. So sustainable buildings. So this is the, the homes, uh, businesses, all the buildings that we're in that use energy um, and use fossil fuels. Uh, and then two sections on transportation, transportation and land use, and then transportation electrification. And then natural systems, and then food and product consumption. A really important thing with this sort of plan is, while it's a city plan, and you know our, our city council adopted the plan, and many of the things done and that will be implemented in the plan are at the sort of city budget, departmental utility level. Mm -hmm. it, this is a two-way street here. This is the entire community. This isn't just how does the city reduce its emissions, it's how does the city enable and support all of our businesses and residents and community members to also reduce their emissions.